Hey guys, Bobby Newtube here. I have a very special request from a very special friend. Gypsy Funny Guy, this one's for you. God bless. On 2nd Avenue on the corner of 52nd Street is world famous Mimi's Restaurant and Piano Bar. This restaurant's been a gypsy landmark for years and I'm going to show you why. Let's go inside. As soon as you walk in you will be greeted by the owner of the place or her sister and I have to tell you this is definitely a gypsy friendly place. And here's one of the gypsy secrets. Make sure you tip at least $10 to the cook. That will show you the best cut meats there. Steak and pork chop. The first course of the night a fresh garden salad with the most amazing blue cheese dressing. It's made right there in the kitchen. It's chunky, it's creamy. Now if you don't like blue cheese, they do have oil and vinegar. But if you do, I recommend this dressing highly. I was in the mood for something different tonight. So I wanted to try a new appetizer. So I went for the mushroom stuffed with prosciutto and covered in marinara sauce. And I have to tell you, this was absolutely excellent. And you actually get about eight mushrooms, so it's definitely enough to share. Here's another new dish I'd like you guys to try. It's actually fettuccine alfredo. But instead of fettuccine noodles, I had them put them in shells. And with that, there's also bacon and onions. And I have to say, it's a very large portion. There was actually four of us, and we couldn't finish it. This is a definite at Mimi's. Mimi's also has great Italian food, like this veal parmesan, which came with a side of pasta and meat sauce. Very, very good. Now here is just one of the two reasons why all the gypsies come to Mimi's. It's a 14 ounce New York strip steak smothered in hot peppers. I have to tell you that this might be the greatest sauce in the world. Again, make sure you have plenty of bread. You're definitely going to want to dip in this sauce. And again, it's a big steak. There was four of us and all of us ate and were satisfied. Burnt on the outside and rare in the inside, just the way I like it. Absolutely delicious. This is definitely a Mimi's favorite. Okay guys, this is what you've all been waiting for. The number one reason why gypsies come to Mimi's. And this is where you're going to see where your $10 went. Two center cut pork chops, burnt golden brown, covered in red peppers, cherry peppers, and light oil and white wine. I have to tell you that this sauce is very spicy. My lips are actually still burning from this sauce. But man oh man, it might be the greatest pork chop in the gypsy world. Actually, my boss from Miller Dalton turned me on to a new trick. Remove the pork chops from the dish and order some golden french fries. Put the french fries in the dish with all the oils and the peppers and then put the pork chops back on top of the french fries. And let all that oil soak into the french fries. I'm telling you, it was the greatest fries I've ever ate in my life. It's a definite recommendation. Well, I can't go on any further without telling you about the live entertainment. This man has been entertaining the gypsies for years. And if you tip him a buck, he'll even play any type of gypsy song you want. It's a definite fun night out. You're in the mood for Magnolia Cupcakes, but you're thinking Blinker Street is way too far from Mimi's Restaurant. Well, I have the solution for you. As soon as you walk out of Mimi's doors, look across the street and to your left, and you will see the Buttercup Bake Shop, which is actually the sister place to Magnolia's. Now these cupcakes actually been featured on HBO specials, Martha Stewart, and the Food Network. And here's the reason why. Because they come in the most exotic flavors and toppings and colors. They're not only the most beautiful cupcakes you've ever seen, they're definitely the most tasty. And the cupcakes come in chocolate, vanilla, and red velvet. And they don't call it red velvet for nothing. Cupcakes are not your thing? Well, this place has a variety of all different types of cakes, pastries, pies, and cookies. 
And I guess you guys know me by now, there's always that last dessert that's my favorite. It's their world famous banana pudding. It's stuffed with fresh bananas, vanilla wafer, and banana pudding. It almost tastes like a filling in a wedding cake or a birthday cake. I have to tell you, the first time I ate this, I actually had tears in my eyes. It was so good. But it's very thick and it's rich, and it comes in about a six ounce cup. So I would suggest that you would get one and share it with a loved one. And buy one more, because you take it home, put it in your refrigerator, and the next day it comes out ice cold and tastes even better, if that's possible. Important note, the bakery actually closed at 10 o'clock, so you might want to pick up your desserts before you go into Mimi's. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Do To Pick of the Week. Until next time, God bless.